So you wanna buy a home. Well, you can't. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why that's the case. Well, before I get started, you guys do me a favor. Can you guys please like this video, drop me a comment, tell me I suck if you think I suck, and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Plus, you'll get notified of a bunch more videos right when I drop them. I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why you can't buy a home. When in reality, these are all the reasons you can buy a home if you don't fall into the criteria. My goal is to walk you through because buying a home is not as daunting as it seems. First, people think just because they have a lot of debt, they're not able to buy a home. Well, not all debt's created equal. Student loans, for example, a lot of people feel like, oh, I got 100 grand or 50 grand or $30,000 in student loans, so I can't buy a home. That's just too much debt for me. Well, guess what? The way we calculate what your monthly obligation is on that student home is far lower than you think. For example, somebody that has $100,000 in student loans, we have tons of programs that you're only counting $500 a month as the total debt payment on that loan. I guarantee you that's a lot better than what you thought it would be, right? Well, another reason that people think is, you know what, my credit's not perfect. Well, newsflash, nobody's credit's perfect. Shoot, my credit's perfect now at 39 years old, you know, my credit's over 800, but guess what? When I was 22, I was a fool. My credit score was a 538, but yet a couple years later than that, I got my credit score up, and when I got in the mortgage industry, I bought a home right away because all I needed to really have was about a 640 credit score. And you can get your credit up very easy with just knowing the right credit algorithms. And those credit algorithms aren't as simple as just being like, oh, well, I gotta pay off all my debt. Well, if you do that, many times your score drops. And if you have a little collection on there, believe it or not, getting that deleted can make your score go up 70 to 80 points. Or if you have a credit card and that balance is maybe a thousand bucks compared to the limit of 1500, Paying that down by just 500 bucks can boost that score 30 to 40 points. So even if your credit score is in the high 500s or even the low 600s and you just feel like that's just too low to buy a home, you're wrong and you can do it. It just takes a little bit of work. Probably the most common reason why you can't buy a home people feel is buying a home is just simply too expensive. So let's just say you're paying $2,000 a month in rent. Guess what? You're already paying a mortgage with it. It's just not your mortgage, it's your landlord's mortgage. He's taking that $2,000 a month and he's using it to pay his own mortgage. And in most cases, it's usually a little bit less than what you're paying him in rent because nobody likes to rent for free or to lose money, right? What you can realize is, is a $2,000 a month rent budget, believe it or not, gets you a lot of home. You know, you don't need to spend four or $5,000 a month. Back in 2006, when it was four grand in a mortgage payment to buy a $500,000 condo, Guess what? With historically low interest rates and great programs where you don't have to put a large amount down, your monthly payment in most people's cases is way lower than what you would expect. And most of the time, it's barely over, if any, than their current rent for buying an identical property. The fourth reason, and probably my favorite reason, why people decide that they just don't buy a home they just doubt themselves. They don't feel like that they deserve to have a home or they're not in the financial position that would allot them to buy a home. They don't have 20% down. They don't have perfect credit. Well, guess what? That's the majority of America. But guess what? 61% of America owns a home. And by the end of 2021, it's predicted that 68% of Americans will own a home. So are you gonna be in part of that 7% of people that get houses this year? or are you gonna let yourself be held back by your own insecurities? Because if it was me, the greatest way to create wealth in this world is to take the money you're spending in rent and invest it in yourself in a home. So what are you guys waiting for? And before you guys go, do me a quick favor, just like, drop me a comment, and click subscribe, it really helps us out.